There are tons of class action lawsuits going on by artists against record companies over digital sales. The Robert Johnson estate brought me in to help him find all his royalties because everybody thought that blues music was public domain, Robert Johnson's music was public domain. So we set out and we collected well into the seven figures. And at that point, I kind of felt that Robert Johnson is not the only person who might be in this position of having missing royalties. So I formed my own company. It's called Records on the Wall. and. Uh, since that time, I've been doing nothing but representing artists, helping them find their royalties. The only way I know how to teach is to physically bring my work in with me. You have to like, define Wait. art, which is impossible to do. And the parents should decide whether the child can buy that or not. Right. And so I will talk at great length about my clients that allow me to talk about them. And I physically will bring in licenses and royalty statements. I'll bring in issues from start to finish. I'll bring in a contract and say, here's where we're at. The industry is changing leaps and bounds, and I think artists are starting to take more control over their own music. So there's lots of changes going on, and I try and keep on top of it and keep my students on top of it as well. So what I try and bring to the students is actual real-time work in this business that you will not get from a book.